Hey, yo, man, I'm really bugging out, man, about that New York City shooter, bro. Listen, when I first saw his picture, the first thought came to my mind was, I know this dude, this dude, he looks so familiar to me, right? And he kind of looked like Tahaka Bay. If you guys watch Tahaka Bay, he looks a little like Tahaka Bay. And I'm looking at this dude, I'm like, I know this dude, I know this dude. Come to find out, this dude is Prophet of Doom. Prophet of Doom was subscribed to my channel. He used to troll me. He even made a response video to me at one time. And I responded to his response video. Now, one thing I'll say about Prophet of Doom, I would have never expected this brother to do that. He didn't seem like that kind of brother. I don't know him off of YouTube. I only know him on YouTube when he comment on my videos. Uh, but the impression I got from him and even watching his videos, he just didn't seem like that kind of person, man. He didn't seem like that kind of person. And according to the news, he was on the subway, man, and he let off a firework or a smoke bomb. Then he apologized. Then he just started shooting people up, man. Now, when I first heard about that story, man, the first thought came to my mind was, He's not by himself because they was talking about how detonators didn't go off and the smoke bombs and then the shooting and the, uh, he used a, um, what was it, a assault style, AR-15 assault style rifle. And I'm like, short, 5'5", five, five, fat black man, that, that don't sound right, man. Unless he's military, that don't sound right. Sound, he doesn't sound like he's by, he didn't do this by himself, right? And then I'm sitting there thinking it just don't seem right. Something ain't not, something is not right. But then when more information start coming out, come to find out they were fireworks. I'm like, okay, I got it. Now, this dude was obsessed with Hassan Campbell. He made a lot of videos on Hassan Campbell. He made videos on Dr. Umar Johnson. He made videos on uh, Kwame Brown. He made videos on like so many other YouTubers, man. But again, like I said, he never, he's never, he's never been disrespectful to me. He was never, he never disrespected me in any kind of way. He was never threatening in any kind of way. He just didn't seem like that kind of person to me, man. He just didn't. So this kind of like surprised me. And the media said that when one of the fireworks went off, he apologized to the people, man. And then he just started shooting people. So I'm thinking, dude just snapped. If he did that, he snapped. And they say that they matched the firearm to the shooting, right? So this is this is crazy. It's mind-blowing, man. And, and I'm telling you guys, listen, a lot of y'all trolls get on YouTube and you say things to people, man. You don't know what's in these people's head, man. You don't know them, especially when they come under uh, troll accounts. I've been threatened on YouTube and I'm the kind of person, man, I take every threat serious, man. I take threat serious. And a lot of times I won't say nothing, but I take threat serious and I always prepare myself. When someone threatened me, I prepare myself for that. So I'm ready. I'm always ready, you know, and people get online, man, and you don't know the mental state or emotional state of a person and you start railing at people that you don't even know. That's not cool, man. That's not. That's not a smart move, man, because like Prophet of Doom, man, we never expected this brother to do that. I would have never expected in a million years for him to do what was done in New York City in Brooklyn, man. So this is crazy. This is insane, man. I'm, I'm, my mind is still blown, man. Prophet of Doom. And man, I, I, he seemed like a cool brother. Even when he was trolling my account, man, and commenting on my videos, man, he still seemed like a cool brother. He just didn't seem like the kind of person that would do something like that. You know, so feedback and tell me what you think. Subscribe until next time. I'm fearless.